The Great Barrier Reef by Debbie Croft The reef, the Great Barrier Reef, is the largest coral reef system in the world. It is located in the Coral Sea, off the coast of Australia. It begins at the tip of Cape York in the north and stretches more than 1,800 miles south along the Queensland coast. The reef lies between 9 and 93 miles offshore. In some places, it is 40 miles wide. Think and talk about the Great Barrier Reef is the only living thing on Earth that can be seen from space. This reef is the world's largest single structure made by living creatures. There are almost 600 different types of coral on the Great Barrier Reef. Together, they create an impressive display of color that has made this environment well known throughout the world. Coral reefs need sunlight to grow, so they are mainly found in clear waters up to 200 feet deep. Because some types of coral look like trees, reefs are sometimes called rainforests of the sea. Types of coral, the two main types of coral on the Great Barrier Reef are hard coral and soft coral. Hard coral forms when groups of polyps make limestone skeletons to support themselves. Usually, a single hard coral is made up of hundreds, thousands, or millions of coral polyps. These polyps live together as a colony. The two most common types of hard coral in the Great Barrier Reef are brain coral and staghorn coral. Brain coral got its name because it resembles the human brain. Staghorn coral grows extremely quickly. Soft coral does not have a skeleton. Its body is soft and jelly-like, so it looks more like a plant. Tiny limestone spikes provide support and protection for soft coral. Soft coral is often bright pink and mauve, but these vivid colors are not usually seen in hard coral. A variety of fish, prawns or shrimp, and sea slugs live in the branches of soft coral. The coral provides excellent camouflage because it has the same colors and patterns as these creatures. Some soft coral is in danger of being eaten by marine animals. The hingebeak shrimp above and the long-nosed hawkfish below are camouflaged by the coral in the Great Barrier Reef. Clownfish are named for their bright colors. Think and talk about. Some types of coral make a poison that has an unpleasant taste for predators. Marine life. A variety of marine life lives in the Great Barrier Reef. There are hundreds of different species of fish, sea snakes, sea turtles, and sea grasses. Some creatures, including the green sea turtle, are endangered. Saltwater crocodiles live in the mangrove swamps along the coast near the reef. Humpback whales also use the reef as a breeding area when they migrate from the Antarctic. The olive sea snake is one of 14 sea snake species found in the Great Barrier Reef. The humpback whale migrates to the Great Barrier Reef from Antarctic waters, the saltwater crocodile lives along the coast. Native peoples, Aboriginal Australians, and native people from the Torres Strait Islands north of Australia have known about and used the Great Barrier Reef for more than 60,000 years. They developed a great knowledge of the environment in this area before Europeans came to Australia. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples journeyed through the reef to trade with other native groups along the coast. They traveled in canoes and used the wind and the stars to find their way. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have been fishing in the Great Barrier Reef for thousands of years. Think and talk about many traditional dances and songs convey stories about the reefs and islands.
World Heritage Site The Great Barrier Reef was made a World Heritage Site in 1981. This means the reef must be protected for people of the world to enjoy in the future. A large part of the reef is also protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, which helps to reduce the effects of activities such as fishing and tourism. An employee of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority holds a rescued turtle. Think and talk about the Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Risks to the reef. There are many things that put the survival of the Great Barrier Reef at risk. Some of these include tropical storms, the crown of thorns starfish, pollution, fishing, oil spills, and changes to the climate. Tropical storms. When strong storms occur along the coast, they can cause serious damage to the reef. Strong winds disturb the shallow water and can snap pieces of coral off the reef. Then these pieces get tossed around the ocean floor and thrown into deeper water. Storm damage has destroyed a lot of coral in the Great Barrier Reef. Crown of Thorns Starfish The Crown of Thorns Starfish preys on coral polyps. Sometimes, the number of starfish increases naturally. At other times, too many of its predators are caught, and more starfish survive. If this happens in one particular area, large sections of the reef can be damaged or destroyed. The Crown of Thorns Starfish preys mostly on hard coral. Think and talk about a female Crown of Thorns Starfish can produce up to 65 million eggs in a season. Pollution. Land near the Great Barrier Reef is used for growing sugarcane and grazing cattle. Most pollution in the reef is caused by runoff from these farms. When it rains, chemicals wash into the waters near the reef, damaging the plants and animals. The Great Barrier Reef is polluted by runoff from farms when it rains. Think and talk about every year, huge numbers of seabirds die as a result of plastics being discarded in their environment. Fishing. Fishing is a favorite activity for many visitors to the reef. However, huge trawlers can damage areas of the reef by dragging nets through the water to catch prawns and fish to sell. A fishing trawler drags its nets in search of prawns in the Great Barrier Reef. Shipping and oil spills. Oil spills from passing container ships can cause major damage to the reef environment. Sometimes, these ships run aground and damage the coral and the ocean floor too. After an accident, it can take between 10 and 20 years for the reef to grow back to its original condition. In 2010, an oil spill caused a lot of damage to the Great Barrier Reef. Think and talk about. It is thought that around 1,600 ships have been wrecked on the Great Barrier Reef. We are going to pause here, and on the next slide, you're going to tell me what cause and effect did the author give you here on page 19.